Hello, hello. We are here with moi. I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pants, and we are going to look at the Tamizio Calligraphy Set, which is a new set from Graffon Faber Castell. Now, this item is on loan from Lay Wines in Toronto, so thank you to the folks at Lay Wines because I wanted to show this to you because it's a new set. Calligraphy sets are always fun, um, and I had actually never used this before. So, Let's open it up and look at it. Uh, very simple. It's actually not a huge box. It's got one of those paper sleeves on the outside that I can, oh my God, I can never open these things. Okay. The graph boxes are actually really classy, I think. They're really cute, very consistent. Nice branding, like nice packaging. Nice, it's just like a, a paper, thick paper, cardboard type thing. Now the pen is not in here. I've taken it out because I was worried that I would drop it. I'm just gonna see if there's anything underneath here. No, there's nothing underneath here. So it's basically just a um, plastic molded felt tray. Let me see if I can make that shit, get that back in. So very simple. Um, you know me, I'm not really huge into packaging, so it doesn't really matter. Now here's the pen. The pen is the black Tamizio. So what this has is like this rippled barrel. Um, it has a very short cap and it has a spring-loaded clip. It has what I like to call the Valley of Comfort. So it's it's like a, for those who have that tactile, like that need for tactile things or like fidget cubes and stuff like that, this is a really nice thing to pet. So just saying. Um, this is an interesting model because it doesn't really have a section. Some people like that, some people don't. Personally, I would have preferred to see a model with a section because it's a calligraphy pen. Like, I like to have a bit more control. This works okay. Like, this isn't a particularly sharp ridge. You can hold it like this. Um, the idea, of course, is that you do post it and then you hold it up a little higher. To me, I find it unbalanced and too heavy when it's posted because the cap is solid metal. So, ideally, I just like to use it like this. And it works out okay for me. Uh, so, again... I would prefer a section, but the aesthetic of this is actually looks like it looks good the way it is. So I'll just live with it. Now it is a cartridge converter pen. I have a converter in here right now, just standard international. You can use long or short and um, I've, but I've got it inked with the on Faber Castell Deep Sea Green because I thought it would look nice. So the calligraphy set idea is that you get two more sections and so maybe this is why they chose to go with this model because the sections are really small, it's easy to package and uh, they have these little caps. So there's three nibs in total. We have a 1.1 millimeter, a 1.4 millimeter and equipped on the pen I have the largest one which is the 1.8 now they're all stainless steel but you can probably tell like from the color like they're really shiny a little shinier than the average stainless steel nib and that's because they are rhodium plated nibs to give it a more polished look they say so it matches the trim a little better and it does look really nice so you've got three nibs um they are all steel but they are rhodium plated and the price in canada for the set is 325 canadian i don't know what that works out to in the states you can figure that out but um you like it's not unreasonable considering you get three nibs and a pretty nice luxury pen like the graf and castell line is the luxury version of the fiber castell so you do get the nicer pen um so the interesting thing about these nibs is i was expecting them to function like a stub so I was writing with them and I was like, oh, this is so frustrating. Like they feel like they're not flowing properly and they just don't feel right. And in the end, I discovered that um, the this set is actually designed to be oblique. So you're supposed to, they, they actually tell you to write slowly and um, they do include a guide and stuff like that. So um, like to, to give you an example and... Um, it also includes like online guides so you can print stuff from online, which I think is nice instead of just having a whole bunch of booklets in your packaging. So you have seen the pen. Um, you're really probably not interested in my hands, obviously. Uh, you want to see how it writes. So I'm going to switch angles so we can take a look at that and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've got the uh, 1.8, the larger of the nibs in place here. 
Uh, just because I thought it would be interesting to start out with that. Now, I'm going to show you what I mean by the stub feeling versus oblique. So, like, you could tell that this is a stub nib. And so, typically, what I would do with a stub nib is align it on the paper and write. Looks good, it looks good, but you'll notice that the line is getting thinner, and it just doesn't really work. And I was really frustrated. I was like, this doesn't make sense. Like, why would they do this? And then I read the the description online about it. And it literally says it's meant to be used as an oblique nib. So what that means is instead of writing it like this, writing with it like this, you got to rotate the nib. So it's more for like italic writing, which I cannot do at all. So this is going to be hilarious. So if I write like this, you get a different line. But you can see that the line actually, like it works. So um, let me see if I can write something. Oh God, I don't, I, I really don't know how to use it to write in italic. So I'm just going to write. Like the italic script, I mean. Okay, so that is as an oblique. And if I were trying to write like this, it actually works out okay for now. But um, eventually, I found that it would just like stop writing. The line gets thinner. I'm just using, uh, I'm not using any pressure, like this is just free weight. So as a stub, okay, there's a good example, like right there. So you start getting like these skips. So let's do the oblique angle. And I think it just like, it just works better this way because of the shape of the nib and the way the ink flows and stuff. So, I mean, if you're looking for something that's going to give you something that you could practice with as a, like, for a broad script, like gothic, black letter, stuff like that, um, you'd have to really take it slow. I know I've written hello like a thousand times. Like, you cannot, you can't write quickly with this nib after a certain point. So, I'm trying to make a line there, but it's not working. So I'm using it as a stub right now. The line is getting thinner. It just doesn't feel right. Like, it doesn't feel like the entire nib is connecting with the page. But if I do this way, I guess it's just the the angle and the motion, like the direction of pressure and stuff. It just works better. So I don't really understand how, but they are right. If you use this as, at an oblique angle, it is more comfortable and it does work better so this is the 1.8 um this was basically a lot of rambling just to show you about the angle but 1.8 they're not super wet nibs like i would call this medium wet but considering it's a 1.8 like that's not super wet now why don't we switch out to the 1.4 i'm gonna just move this onto a piece of plastic so i don't drop it onto the carpet or something uh, this is 1.4. Now, the thing with these is that you typically, once you put your new converter in, or sorry, your converter into your new section, you got, you got to prime it a bit. And unfortunately, that can, that can trick the writing sample a little, but at least I'm telling you so you're aware of it. Right, you know, you know what I mean? Okay, so now we're going to do the, let me get this going. Ah, oh, yes, the joys of changing inks in nibs mid-writing. Mid I swear I saw ink come out. You know what? I'm just going to use the bottle, and I'm just going to dip it to prime it. You're just going to have to live with it. And if you don't like it, <laughs> tough beans. So, 1.4 millimeter. The 1.8 is definitely broad. Um, I think it would be great for practicing calligraphy but i think the 1.4 and the 1.1 are definitely better for like daily writing so i'm using it as an oblique here here i am as using it as a like straight on the page i've had a lot of coffee my brain is all over the place i'm sorry straight on what was i writing oh yeah straight on the page it's working out okay right now but i did just prime it um, I have the feeling the 1.8 is the most finicky in terms of using it as a stub. This one seems to be a little more forgiving.
okay, I don't actually know what I'm writing. It, just nonsense, basically. Uh, that's the 1.4. And we're going to now switch to... I'm going to pull this back a bit. We're going to switch to the 1.1. Yep. Switching. Okay, so let's see. There's ink. Looking for the ink there. Oh, well, there is ink, and I know that because it's on my finger now. So that's cool. Uh, yep. And we just maybe I should just change the angle of it so you can see a bit better. I'm gonna dip. <laughs> There we go. 1.1. 1. 1. I find the one... This... Look at that. Can you hear it? So, writing straight on with the 1.1 1. 1 is actually super crisp. And I think of the three nibs, I like the 1.4 1. 1 the best. So, the 1.1 1. 1 is, like, really sharp. It does not look like it's writing, it like, with a stub. Sorry. Writing with it like a stub, like, straight on the page. It doesn't look like it gives such a nice line. So, if we rotate this one, this one is definitely better rotated rotated it performs better it's still a little sharp but it the shapes of your letters and strokes works better for this nib or the nib works better in this direction in general but like you can see it's not completing the line right okay so i probably need to slow down a bit because it literally says um write slowly and i'm maybe going a little too fast yeah, my favorite's the 1.4. I think it has the, it's most forgiving, and it just looks the nicest. It feels the nicest. The 1.8 is fun for practice, but like realistically, I think the 1.4 is ideal. You can use it for daily use, like daily writing, um, or for click-free practice. Dear calligraphers of... Uh, Toronto, because that's where I am. Yeah, interesting. So, I think they've done something fun here. Like, I think this is a really nice gift. Um, realistically, I like the 1.4 the most, and I think that's the one I would use the most, but I like the options. So, personally, like, for me, I don't like swapping sections. Like, I prefer to have pens, like, just a full pen for using. Um, so this is not something that I would personally go for because, again, I like, like, I don't want three sections. I want three pens because it's easier for me to do that. But if you're not into that, like, if you prefer the sections, then it's a great option. So that's everything. Um, hopefully this was useful for you. Thank you again to Laywines for loaning me this pen, for uh, sending me this set. Actually, I picked it up in person. And I'm going to drop it off tomorrow. So thank you again. I hope you guys found this useful. If you did enjoy, please, I would very much appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. This is the like, and the subscribe is a click. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and Instagram as Gourmet Pens, and also as Toronto Pen Company. So come check me out, and we'll see you next time. Bye!